Ballard Sports Media, big SEC fan, asking which position is Miami most trying to target for the 2021 class between wide receiver and running back? Uh, it's it's really funny he picks those two positions. I mean, wide receiver, it that's a great question, actually, because after this season, we could lose a lot at both, depending on how they predict, uh, how they produce, excuse me. So at wide receiver, we have a true junior and Mark Pope, a true junior and uh, D Wiggins. So those two guys theoretically could also leave, which would leave, which would have a lot of open spots. Uh, I think as of right now, wide receiver isn't the highest on our list because we already have four big time wide receivers committed already. So, I mean, I, I don't really see, I know running back is something we're going to have to really start talking about because Cam Williams, uh, Cam Davis has made it known. He's probably gone. You know, he, he said this season's for his family. When players start talking like that, <laughs> they're usually out of here uh, in three years. So you got Cam. And you also have Knight and Don Chaney, Robert Burns. But as of right now, we have committed that, Franklin, a high four-star uh, running back as of right now. So I think, I think we might be good on running back but we could bring in one more scat player, which could be the Yoki Brown or Amari Daniels, who's willing to come in and be a running back type of out the backfield type of player. But I think we have our marquee back in this class already. And we have our wide receiver room kind of field. So throughout the show, we've been plugging the Wholesome Ones channel. So check it out uh, right here on YouTube, H-O-L-S-U-M and the number one and Wholesome One. You're going the way of the voice of college football. You're expanding out to various channels now. Yes. Yes, I am. Super excited about it. It's a, it's a different opportunity for me. Uh, something I've always thought about. Uh, but, you know, eventually, you know, they say if you're feeling froggy, you got to jump. Uh, and I'm willing to kind of take this to the next level and see what I can do. And what that means here is we're going H1H gaming. Uh, and so what we're going to do there is, as you can see, it's kind of similar to what's being done across college football on YouTube as far as using the PS3, streaming these games. But it's going to be Miami Hurricanes focused. But not only that, we're going to redo the 2019 season. Uh, that was atrocious. All right. But what the problem is and what the difference is going to be is that I'm not just playing the game, Mark. There's a mode on the game called coach mode. What that means is you call in the plays, but the AI controls what happens on the field. So I can't control Greg Rousseau and make him do an inside move. I can only tell him to slide, or I can only tell the linebackers to creep over. I can only tell the safeties to back up, and then the AI controls what happens on the field. So it's kind of out of your hands. It's very similar to the coaching experience on Saturdays. You can put the player in position, but it's up to them to make the play. Uh, so it, it's been an exciting opportunity for me uh, to do that. We're going to do 2019 redo. We're also going to do the 2020 season game by game, week by week. We're going to upload. And something else I'm ultra excited about is we're going to do uh, Coach Holson. So I'm going to start off as a defensive coordinator at an institution. We're going to do a poll from there, and then we'll pick whatever school we're going to do. I'm going to incorporate you all into recruits that we're going to go after and we're going to have uh, all type of speed and strength and what scheme we're going to run and all that type of stuff. So it's going to be exciting. You know, we'll pick and follow me on a journey virtually as to where my dream job is head coach at Miami. Uh, so we're going to follow me all the way through, you know, whether it's D.C. at Middle Tennessee State, D.C. at Akron. And I get a big job at Auburn or something like that. And then maybe it doesn't work out. So now I got to go back down a little bit to take my step up and. Maybe I get the D.C. job and then now at Miami. Now I got to work to be the head coach, you know. And so all that type of stuff and incorporating it uh, with you all, the fans, uh, into the uh, system. So we're excited about that. And uh, something I've been working on in the works, I didn't want to release it until I had everything necessary uh, to work on it. So it's an exciting idea, and uh, I appreciate you giving me a little time to talk about it. So D.C. at Miami, and then that parlays into a head coaching job. I just can't really see that ever happening for anyone or that, or that would ever happen. <laughs> Is that possible? Yeah, it's very possible. Maybe, maybe spend a few days in Philadelphia in between those. Yeah, there we go. go to Philly for a few days. 
I'll have a news a conference. And we'll go from there. So I'm pretty excited about it, man. Uh, one of, we've done a quick poll, and one of them was uh, to start at NDSU, start as a DC at NDSU and climb my way through the ranks and, and see where I can go from there. So I'm pretty amped about it, and um, it's, it's exciting. And uh, another thing is tonight on my channel, before I start the new H1H Gaming, uh, so we're going to have a preview that comes out tonight. And the very first game is already done and complete, and that's the Orlando game, a redo of August 24th uh, against Florida. So we will have the preview drop tonight at 8 p.m. on my channel. Uh, and then tomorrow night, Saturday night, will be the premiere of the H1H Gaming. You will have the full game experience Saturday night, 8 p.m. on the new channel, H1H Gaming. So I would love it. Uh, the goal is to get to first 500 subs and then get to 1,000 and roll from there. Um, so we're going to do the first half of the season, uh, the first couple of weeks here, up until 500. So I'm going to give you an incentive. After 500 subs, we'll do the rest of the season. And then once we hit 1,000, we'll start the coach wholesome journey. And uh, it's a blessing. And uh, I'm hoping it, it, it works out. Now, who knows what's going to happen when those two teams get back together in Orlando because that game was a coin flip. Oh, absolutely. And now they're getting coached by somebody who's pretty aggressive. So maybe that lets you know <laughs> what, what's going to happen, you know. So, um, hey. Do you still have Jaron Williams at quarterback? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So you can make that change. Absolutely. So you're replaying so the game, the but you can depth. put in your own guys. Yes, exactly. So, but you've got to stick to the 2019 roster. So you're going to Cozy Perry. Exactly. Oh, you know, Mark. You know, yeah. There's some also. There's some other changes. Uh, you know, depth chart at wide receiver, depth chart at defensive end, depth chart at defensive tackle, at offensive line. All those type of things you will be able to see uh, if you come on and, and, and check us out. Uh, Joel Perez is speaking your language here. When are we going to see Cam in a wholesome one show? We'll have to throw that together here. So uh, it happened one time, and no, I think it's happened like two or three times at this point. Yeah, but, uh, it was super exciting for me. I mean, as somebody who, like yeah. I said, when I was at Mayville State before I transferred to North Dakota State, and I was in my dorms, I could not wait to sit down and wait for you all. This was kind of before you did lives it was more upload recording yeah. uh and i would always watch it because he would do breakdowns of every group and i've never seen anybody ever do something like that and it was always on your channel and it was uh super cool so i'm excited about that and if i do get a chance to share the screen with them again uh you know the number one school we won't spend any time talking about is those people in tallahassee so <laughs> well uh certainly when we got uh you two on the same screen at the same time it was tremendous it was a great time to hear both of you uh go at it with your insight into uh miami and the acc and a little uh yeah. in, inner south florida rivalry he's a broward county guy and i'm a day county guy uh you know and he taught at one of the cross town rivals he taught at miramar high school i don't know if he's an alumni no he's not because he's from michigan and i went to american c high school which is in hialeah miami lakes uh, and we're right at that county line. So it's like a cross county rivalry. And we used to have this game called the Patriot Bowl. We're the American High Patriots and they're the Miramar Patriots. So we used to have the Patriot Bowl. So that's where that little uh, inner South Florida rivalry is between us two. And it's kind of fun and exciting uh, to have that chance to talk a little smack with them. Got uh, Kbrew 25 Canes. He's asking about Brandon Cleveland. Um, Recent commit here. Uh, let's see, 13th rated uh, D tackle, uh, 2022 class. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, not a commit. Okay, I saw Miami logo all over the place on the 247 Sports page. Uh, I know you're locked in on 2021. Uh, so I mean, to be reaching to 2022. So, I mean, I, I've heard about him, I've seen a little film on him, but I mean, I, I also wait to see that junior film before I, I kind of just. Hop on a prospect. I mean, either way, he's a marquee South Florida guy. So as you see, 247, I think, has us 100% or something like that. Yes. To land him, you know. Uh, and that's a great thing. Two positions, I think, not only locally, but now, I believe, if we start producing draft picks out of them, shout out to Mr. Rubicon. We always talk about draft picks. But 
it's going to be defensive end. Hopefully, it, it creeps into defensive line across the board. But right now, defensive end and safety. We can start rolling out marquee nationally viewed players. Greg Rousseau was a, a lowly recruit, according to some people. He was nationally ranked eventually when he came here and produced on the field. So now what does that mean? The National Football League knows who this guy is. And now you can go take him, and now you got a defensive end. So now our defensive end recruiting doesn't just have to be South Florida. It doesn't just have to be the state of Florida. If we start producing good defense ends, you can creep into the Southeastern Conference and start getting into those conversations with some of the big-time five-star defensive ends if we start producing uh, – good play on the football field because now people want to come and play in that system. Um, and and um, I'm pretty excited about that. And that safety, I mean, you talk about our safety room is, is, is big time, especially after getting Avante. Now you got James. You already have a uh, light-skinned warrior, Bubba Bolden. And you also got Gervin Hall. You got Amari Carter. You got Jalen Harrell. You got Keyshawn Smith. I mean, it's just guys on top of guys. And some of those guys nationally – you may not know who they are. Wait till we get on the football field.